Hey guys, this is Dimitri with Joe's Gaming and Electronics and in today's video I'm going to show you how to replace the headband on your Beats Solo 3 wireless headphones. Now the headband that I'll be replacing, we do sell this on our website. The link will be down in the description below. And for this repair, I'm going to be using a Phillips Plus screwdriver 2.0 a flat head, a 1.5 millimeter, and a pry tool. All the tools that you'll see me using in this video, we do sell them on our website. The links will be down in the description as well as the part. With all that being said, let's get into the repair. So what we're gonna do is first, you wanna remove four Phillips Plus screws. We're gonna peel this rubber cushion back remove the screws we're gonna go ahead and follow the same steps on the left side peel the rubber headband cushion back and remove these two screws Once all the screws are removed, we're gonna jimmy the hinge away from the headband just to create a little bit of space to work with. And with our Phillips flathead screwdriver, we're gonna go ahead and just peel this rubber leg out of the headband. All you gotta do is peel the corners. Follow the same steps on this side. Once you've done that on the left side, you could proceed with the same steps on the right side. Boom. Once that is done, we're gonna grab our pry tool <clears throat> and start prying the corners. Once you get the corners pried on one side, you can simply just grab it like this and go ahead and peel it off the headband. Like so. With the flathead, I'm gonna come in here and pull the main internal wire out of the grooves of the headband just so that I can free this side up like so. remove the old headband go ahead toss it and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our new headband and we're gonna install it now remember you have the left side and the right side the B is on the left side the S is on the right side you want to make sure that you install that correctly We're gonna pop the headband in. Once we do that, you can fasten the screws. Go ahead, follow the same steps for the opposite side. Once that is done, you can go ahead and tuck the main internal wire 
inside of these little grooves that you have in the center. Let me see if I could get the camera to focus up here a little bit. You could see right in there that there's little grooves right in the center of the headband. So we're gonna line up the main internal wire, tuck it in, tuck it away. Like so. And now we are ready to install our headband cushion. All right, so for the headband cushion, I do want to inform you that it's just like the headband. You do have a <clears throat> right and a left side. So we got our left side and our right side. And the way that you can tell <clears throat> which side is which on the headband cushion is every single cushion will have an arrow like that on the plastic piece. The arrow is an indicator that that is the right side. So that means we're installing it this way. So to install this, we're just gonna place it on the headband, line it up and simply just push down on the edges. Like so, it'll just clip right into place. Once you've done that, the last thing that you have left is to tuck in these little legs. And to do that, you can simply just go ahead and push them in underneath the hinge like so. Go ahead, do the other side. Once you've done that, you have successfully replaced the headband on your Beats Solo 3 wireless headphones. Once again, if you are looking to do this repair yourself, we do sell the headband on our website. The link will be down in the description below, as well as all the tools that you saw me using in this video. We do sell those on our website as well. The links will be included down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys.